to show you the newest collection on that will be added to my website soon on um, mitchiscustombling.com if you didn't know I have a website as well um, I'll put the link in the info box uh, the newest design I've been wanting to add new things you all know I'm always trying something different um, because I try to be different uh, from everyone else and I like doing designs with with the or rhinestones and the crystals instead of just a plain solid shoe and y'all know my design is just really weird and crazy anyway so <laughs> if you watch my channel but anyway I decided to start adding pop art sets to to my website and I haven't added anything for sale yet this set I'm showing you is the first set that I actually have done the very first set and this set I actually did for myself um I wanted I actually did this set to go with a dress you'll see me wearing later on. It's, it's like an African dress, and I want it like an African somewhat um, design. I'm going to show you the handbag first, and then I'm going to show you the shoes. This is the handbag, very, very large handbag. So this is the handbag before I did anything to it. Okay, so I want to show you this part. I actually had to remove the medallion off the handbag, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. So this part I was able to pop right off. I just stuck a sharp object under it and gave it a slight pull and it just came right out. This on the other hand has screws in it. And I kind of assumed that I was going to have to go into the handbag and remove this because it had screws. I could tell that it had a, a, a plating up under it in the center. So I actually had this come in two pieces. Um, this part this part you see on the back was on the inside of the purse. This was the outside medallion part. Um, you can see the holes that it left on the handbag where I removed it, but I don't care because I'm going to put the image on it and rhinestone over the top of it so you won't be able to see that anyway. But I do want to show you this if I can get my camera. So this is the inside of the handbag. And I actually had to take a pair of my um seam ripper and rip the inside of the purse open right here and go down in to remove that silver plating because it was screwed into the purse so i had to open it up and take the screws out to remove it so now what i'm going to do is just take um some red thread a needle and thread and just hand stitch this back together which it won't take long it's just a little short area i'm going to turn around so you can see it better and zoom in so this part here is what I took apart so it's a little short area so all I have to do is just hand stitch if my camera will focus there we go so all I have to do is take a, a, a needle and just hand stitch this back to the zipper which you won't take long because it's just a little short area so I'm going to do that right quick before I actually draw the image on the purse and get ready to um, bling it out. So I'll take a picture of the image after I draw it and then I'll go ahead and bling it out and show you the final results at the end. And I actually took the time and I actually drew this image on the handbag and then blinged it out. So this is the end results of the handbag. And I added my company's name at the bottom part where it says Michi's at the bottom. So this is the handbag. And the back um, of the handbag, I just lightly blinged it out in red all over, which you'll see why I did that to blend in better with the shoes. I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see the image better. Hopefully you can see it better. And this is the back of the handbag. So this handbag is really, really large. And I really like that about the handbag. 
the shoes I'm going to show you before the shoes I purchased from one of my friends boutique um, I'll put the link I don't know if she still have these shoes or not I'm not quite sure I have to contact her ask her does she have any more shoes like this but this the shoes were like a deep like dark burgundy shoe and this is pretty much what they look like before I did anything to them so this is what the shoes look like now I pretty much drew the same image on the shoes as I did on the handbag and I put the word Meaches on the side of the shoes as well. And I really love the way the, the, these shoes came out. Skinny skinny belt and I did a bracelet also to go with this set. So this is the bracelet and the belt that I did to go with the set. Um, I pretty much just outlined the belt uh, with the black and the clear crystals to kind of blend in with the word uh, Meaches on the side of the shoes and on the uh, handbag. And I left the center of the belt red. And the bracelet, the center of the bracelet is red also. And I'm actually working on a pop art denim jacket for myself right now. Like I said, I'm testing different things, trying different designs and etc. So you're going to see some of these images. Um, soon on my website I'm gonna have some items for sale right now I'm getting ready to start working on the outfit for my mom's um, anniversary my mom and dad's anniversary so I, I won't have time to be adding new items right now until I get that done but after that you will be seeing more items soon so that is basically it for everything let me know what you think and I will talk to you later YouTube till then take care